Sparks fly over ash coming into Jacksonville from coal-fired plants months after a barge leaked thousands of tons of ash into the ocean off our coast. City leaders are considering banning similar shipments which contain toxic chemicals. In March, a barge coming from Puerto Rico carrying 12,000 tons of ash from a coal-fired power plant hit the Mayport jetties in a storm and got stuck off the coast of Atlantic Beach. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci has been following this since March and tells us not everyone's convinced banning the ash from coming into Jacksonville is a good thing. The conversation lasted for an hour and a half, and there were strong opinions on both sides of the aisle. That's why ultimately the waterways commissioners decided that they couldn't make a decision today. They did say that they're going to make a subcommittee so they can investigate the issues further. If Puerto Rico doesn't want it, why in the world would we want it? Environmental activists spoke their mind as Jacksonville's waterway commissioners debated banning coal ash from coming into local ports. We've strived so hard to improve our water. The Bridgeport barge crashed into the jetties during a storm, then sat off the coast of Hannah Park for three months, spilling about 9,000 tons of ash from coal-fired power plants onto the ocean floor. That compound, waste coming from Puerto Rico, contains a number of toxic chemicals, mercury, arsenic, and lead. However, U.S. regulators do not classify it as hazardous. The I-Team learned from state and federal documents that barges with the ash have been coming from the port of Puerto Rico through the mouth of the St. John's River, then going to a private terminal owned by Keystone. From there, it's trucked to the Chesser Island landfill in Folkston, Georgia. The DEP tested the water around the site of the shipwreck, but not until two weeks after the spill. They found small amounts of the chemicals and ultimately fined the companies involved $38,000. The riverkeeper sees that as a slap on the wrist. Where is the Florida Department of Environmental Protection? I'm not seeing uh, anyone. Regulators said they weren't able to attend, but the president of the Propeller Club, which represents maritime businesses, warned that a ban would be bad for the economy. We have had conversations with those individuals Amen. who, uh, an agency in particular, who will lose revenue if they're no longer able to move the cargo. Commissioners disagreed on what should be done. We have tragic car accidents every day in this city. Let's stay on, on this. We're, we're kind of going off. No, I'm not, because are we going to eliminate cars? So they settled on creating a subcommittee to dig deeper into the concerns on both sides of the issue. And a Jacksport administrator was here. He pointed out that the Bridgeport barge was not part of their operations, but there are some past contracts that did bring coal ash into Jacksonville through Jacksport. He said now the current administration is opposed to that. They think it's just too risky. Downtown, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Vic. A lobbyist for Keystone Terminals was at the meeting but told us he had no comment. Representatives from the other companies involved in the Bridgeport barge spill, Moran and Dan Ocean Towing, were not there.